Hello, friends, and welcome to the first ever, the inaugural Who is John Harris podcast. It's a working title. It might stay that way forever. It might change tomorrow. I haven't decided fully, and I don't have to because I can do whatever I want to do. Today is August 15th, 2023, and this is going to be just like an intro autobiographical episode just so you can know who the heck I am and why, if anything, I'm saying even matters. Not that that matters if you think it matters, but this is for me, and um, I feel like everybody's perspective can shed some light in various different ways. And I'm going to get into why I wanted to start a podcast anyway here in a second. But I am a believer. I'm a husband and I'm a father. I'm a gym owner. Uh, I've been a fitness dude, a fitness person, a coach, business owner for a long time, probably since about 2010, about 13 years or so. I'm the sole owner of CrossFit Gallatin, and I live in Gallatin, Tennessee, which is about 30-ish minutes north of Nashville. My wife, Lindsay, and I, we have three children, 19 years old, 15, almost 16, and 13 years old at this current point in time. They're all redheads, so I think I even have a slightly more elevated perspective on raising children because a lot of times I feel like they count as two, and I feel like the U.S. government should view those as double the tax credit just in my experience. The reason for a podcast is slightly selfish, but also selfless on the flip side of it. Approximately nine or 10 years ago, I went through a massive life change, hit the reset button on literally every aspect of my life. And if I'm being completely honest, it was not a very bright time. It was pretty dark. Leading up to that, I had been listening to a lot of podcasts, usually having to do with, you know, the fitness realm, business ownership. Shout out to my really good friend, Ryan Stemper, who both of us kind of went through this um, identity, not crisis, just a change. We were looking for a change. We were working together and um, we started keeping each other accountable. And we did P90X together way back in the day. Freaking Tony Horton just like I mean, making massive waves in the in the fitness realm with P90X. And both of us had a lot of success with it. Um, I was a much skinnier guy. I was around like 130 pounds. And I'm about 190, 192 at this moment. Um, and it's taken me a really long time to gain weight and slash gain confidence. And a lot of that has been through exercise, working out, lifting weights, eating well, all these things. And Ryan was kind of on the opposite end where he wanted to lose some weight, get healthier. We wanted to be strong husbands, strong fathers. And we did P90X together and we saw massive success. I think I gained maybe like 15 pounds or so. And if I'm not mistaken, Ryan, maybe you can correct me on this. I think he lost like 40 to 45 pounds. So we were moving in opposite directions, but moving in the same direction in terms of what we wanted to get out of the experience. So after the 90 days, we were absolutely stoked and it worked so well that what did, what did we decide to do? Well, we decided to do it again. And basically nothing happened. <laughs> basically nothing happened. Um, we did the same program again. It's a 90 day program that comes with a nutrition plan and all that stuff and didn't really get a whole lot out of it. So Ryan and I started working out together on our lunch breaks when we worked. Um, we worked at Gibson Guitars for a long time. Almost my entire adult career occupationally was at Gibson. I was there for about 12 and a half years, something like that. And we started working out together during our lunch breaks. And that's when he found CrossFit. It was either on like YouTube or maybe in like a men's health magazine, some article that he read. So I'll credit Ryan for um, showing CrossFit to me and a couple other people. And it's the classic story of you find CrossFit, you find a buddy to do CrossFit with you. And then I think at one point we might have had like six or eight guys coming to work out with us during our 30 minute lunch break. The most ridiculous equipment. I mean, 
we had these curl bars that we were using for thrusters at some point and we would wrap, we were such pansies back then. We would wrap like this rubber felt almost like a yoga mat, but it was like, it had holes in it. We would wrap this bar. I don't even remember why exactly we were wrapping it. I can't remember, but I think there was like a lot of burrs on the bar cause it was just cutting people up. So anyway, we were working out during our lunch break a bunch People would come. And then when the summer came, people stopped coming out. It was just me and Ryan for a long time. And he decided to get some equipment and start, you know, working out in his basement. So we started working out in his basement. A couple other friends would come over. And then we got a little more, well, Ryan got a little more serious in terms of like, hey, let's like do classes and stuff. So we started doing these afternoon classes and eventually got to the point where I think he was doing like two classes in the afternoon because there's just so many people. Um, the neighborhood was probably not super happy with him because there's all these cars on the road and we would be working out in the driveway, in the road, in the basement, running the neighborhood when we were doing Murph and all that. And it kind of got to that point where like, man, we could like open up a gym, like a legit like business, like a full blown commercial location. So he took the plunge, opened up the gym. And I really, I mean, I I really do have to give credit to Ryan where, and I've been very upfront with him, but we both learned a lot from his mistakes, our mistakes. And I think it's because we wanted to be so good at what we were doing. We always pursued like learning from these mistakes and all this, all these things. And maybe a year or two into it, um, I was, I was going through this pretty ugly divorce and I'm not going to go into the details because I'm, I'm not interested in bashing people over the internet. Um, if I do say so myself, my ex-wife and I, we don't always agree on everything, but it's progressively gotten so much better over the past few years that we honestly line up quite a bit and the co-parenting thing is always going to have some some dynamics that we have to deal with. And I'm always going to respond typically leaning a certain way and she's going to the other, but we both understand that. Um, anyway, that's another episode. We can hash some of that stuff out back to CrossFit. I've been coaching for a while and there didn't seem to be an opportunity for me to quit my full-time job, coach CrossFit for a living and still make enough money. And I was doing the math. Like if I'm making this much money per class and I did the math and I said, if I quit my job and I literally coach every single class, this is not going to afford me the opportunity to have some autonomy, to do what I want to do, to not have to ask for permission 30 days in advance to take a personal day. It was a, it was a hard reset after this divorce started going and it, it looked very bleak. And I basically just said, you know what, I'm going to, um, I'm going to totally revamp how I am approaching living my life, being a parent, being a husband or a partner of some sort, even as an employee. And, you know, probably I'm thinking around, Three or four years, um, my wife now, Lindsay, and I, we were absolutely grinding because I was very upfront with her when we met. I said, this is kind of the vision I see for my life. And just being completely honest, guys, I was not interested in any compromise. And that might make me look like a D-bag husband. But I was very upfront with her from the very beginning. This, this, This deal that somehow I have been blessed with I think has come from lots of intentional conversations and not beating around the bush. And I'm very blessed and happy with how my current relationship is. We are just locked in tight. We know what we want together in this life. And I didn't really have anybody to share that perspective with or learn that perspective with until I started getting into other types of podcasts not just fitness related podcasts or even business related podcasts, but the whole personal growth industry of content is pretty well saturated at this point. But there are really only like one or two 
maybe three podcasts that was really like encouraging me to level up in a bunch of different areas. And I didn't have many friends in that bubble that were pursuing something like that. And it's really hard for me to talk about this type of stuff without alienating certain types of people or having people take it personally. But, you know, a lot of people are invested in politics, sports, all kinds of different uh, media, all kinds of different things that make us, you know, distracted. There's just a lot of distractions. And sometimes these distractions have a lot of utility in keeping us not worried about certain things, wanting to get better, wanting to advance in life, so to speak. A lot of people are just upgrading their phones, upgrading their cars, and upgrading their houses. And this is the pursuit of success, a very materialistic, consumerist approach to what success is. I wasn't really interested in that. I just wanted autonomy and I wanted to be able to decide my own fate and be in control of my own time. So I was looking for ways to do that because I was like, I have, I have no idea where to go next because I was working, I was working a pretty blue collar job and a lot of paycheck to paycheck type of mentality. Hey, did you watch the game last night mentality? Did you see that commercial? Blah, blah. I just, I just became more uninterested in these types of conversations. So I would just fall into this. I, it was kind of lonely, but I was listening to these podcasts, namely the Tim Ferriss podcast. Um, I read ex or listened to Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink. And also the Joe Rogan podcast, which if that is triggering a handful of you hearing that, then, you know, this might not be the best place to uh, stay happy and safe because sometimes I entertain ideas that are slightly triggering. But sometimes as I entertain these ideas, I advance into places where I don't have to worry about certain things because I don't care about certain things. So if my perspective can help people move past some sort of barrier that they don't know how to move past, then I think the job is, is well done. I'm not saying I have some secret sauce that no one else has, but sometimes someone can say something a slightly different way than someone else. Even though it's the same concept, we're talking about the same idea, but sometimes it just hits different. It's just like a coach in the gym. I might tell someone how to keep their back straight during a deadlift over and over and over again. But then I have another coach that will say something completely different, but it's saying the same thing in order to get the certain response. Sometimes it just clicks with people. And if something that I say can click with someone, I feel like that's, you know, that's a better use of my time than just scrolling YouTube and watching all kinds of videos on all kinds of stuff. I go off into the deep end of all kinds of areas. But if you're feeling like you want something next level or you want something new or you want a change of direction, maybe I am that guy. Maybe I'm not that guy. If you choose to follow or subscribe, awesome. I'm also highly interested in interacting with people, not just putting stuff out there and not doing anything with it. So if you want to reach me, you can also email me at John Harris at CrossFit .com. There's no H in John, J O N H A R R I S at CrossFit .com. Pretty active on Instagram as well. You can find me at who is John Harris. Those are pretty much the only avenues that I'm participating in at this moment, you know, TikTok, Facebook, there's all kinds of other platforms to be active on. But this will be on YouTube. This will be on Spotify. And I'll have little teaser reels that I'll post to Instagram and such. But I'm definitely interested in helping other people move to the next level in their lives, if that's what they're looking for, whether that could be, you know, physically or, you know, with nutrition, coaching, you know, gym workout coaching. I, I honestly don't do a whole lot of that anymore. It's more or less, why are you choosing not to do what you know you need to do? Or why are you choosing to do the things that you know you don't need to do? 
I'm really interested in talking to people who don't know necessarily how to approach the thing that they want, but they definitely know that they want it. So there's all kinds of ways that we can look at problems and maybe come up with solutions. Um, conditions may vary. In my life, everyone's personal life, we go through similar struggles, but there's all this little nuance aspect of how can we tack tackle this the best way for your personal situation. I had a lot of moments where I contemplated continuing on, and I'll even say that I, I legitimately planned my suicide. It was very specific. I'm talking about the method and all that stuff, and it's a pretty dark subject, but if we leave it in the dark, it's going to stay that way forever. So we can get in, we're going to get into that too in the next few episodes, but there's always an opportunity to speak into someone's life if they're willing to receive it. And maybe this is an avenue for that reception. Subscribe if you want to. Hook me up on Instagram or Spotify. This is very new. And I've waited a long time because I was, I was waiting until everything was perfect. And guess what? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. So... This is the intro episode. We're going to get into some more some specific stuff very soon, but I had to get started. And that's what I will tell you. You have to get started. If it's ugly, do it anyway. If it's broken, do it anyway. But you cannot wait for it to be perfect. You have to get started right now. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.